Navigate to J.B. Jones. Good morning. This is version uh, 12.3. We're in rural Virginia, and this is the first time I really have driven it, other than yesterday I drove down here. Um, so far, I am extremely impressed with version 12.3. Um, we're going to see how it handles, but right in right away, I know that it's staying on the right-hand side of the road. Normally, on an unmarked road that's narrow like this, it would tog the center, and if another car was coming, it would wait till the last minute to try to move over, and then it would stop because it wouldn't go close to the edge, and you had to take over. You were, yeah, and so far, so good. Um, it has another improvement that I really like, and um, that is it adjusts the maximum speed by itself if you allow it. And it says, look, if you get a ticket, it's your fault. And I took that responsibility, and you'll see it's 20 miles an hour is the speed max speed limit but it's going 24 because of the surroundings and the no pedestrians etc and that's pretty impressive i think um to give you an example i was on a road that it was a local road the speed limit was 55 miles an hour and it chose to go 50, uh, 58 miles an hour. And it realized vehicles were passing it because it was a dual lane road. And um, it increased the speed to 59 and then uh, ultimately settled on 63 miles an hour. And vehicles were passing us, but the average we were the lane we were in those people were doing 63 and I thought that was very good this example here is we're the speed limits 55 we're doing 56 because the truck ahead of us is actually pulling away I lost some footage, unfortunately, of um, I had gone in and used Summon. Summon has been much improved. It really has been broken for us in beta, at least for me. It used to do it better uh, pre-beta than what I had the good experience or poor experience uh, with anything after beta. It just, I didn't trust it at all. Anyhow, uh, there were big improvements in that. And then also I lost some footage of, we were making a left-hand turn out on a one lane each way road, but there was a uh, store, liquor store, that people were coming out of and they're making a left-hand turn and they're not directly across they're to our left and we got into we're making a left hand turn at, out of the same thing opposite them that person did not have a blinker on or anything but it made its intention like I'm going to be the guy that's going to go and it did in fact wait probably 
I don't know, minute and a half for traffic, and it, I would have waited too. Um, and when it went, it went assertively and uh, didn't really interfere with that other driver. The other driver uh, had made a little bit of a movement, but not nothing. Norm, it would have freaked it out in previous uh, iterations, and in this case, it did not. You can see here, it did a great job. Uh, I mean, it's driving like a human being it would. And that car in front of us is awesome. I don't know what it is. It's beautiful. Anyhow, this is really my first rural drive in this vehicle, other than a little like four mile stretch earlier, but um, you can see the speed limit uh, is again, 35 miles an hour, but it's doing 39 based on the traffic ahead of us. I cannot tell you how surprised, how smooth, how much of an improvement this is worth paying for full self-driving from what I have seen up to this point it's no longer that uh, you have to be happy that the technology can do that but this is hardware version 3 because my car is a 2020 and the hardware version 4 uh, in the release note it it announces way better improvements because of the difference in the cameras the difference in the processing uh, thing so I am like super happy that with hardware version 3 this is a usable product it, and I know it will only get better and because it has gotten so much better over the last two years it's incredible but there were always certain in situations where it hiccup there it did that wrong and whatever and I, I believe 99% of those are gone. Um, that remains to be seen. I have only driven probably, um, I don't know, 40 miles in the local stack. I've driven more than 400 miles. Look at this. It is pulling us into this. Oh my God. It pulled us into the parking lot. Of course, it pulled us into a... Uh, well, the, that was impressive, but I really can't park here. Um, this is a handicapped parking place. And that guy has a trailer. So I'm going to park over here. Wow. That, that was impressive. That, that was impressive. Thank <laughs> you.